Despite what you might have thought, math is not just meaningless formulas that popped out of nowhere. Even though you might not be able to see it, it's everywhere in our universe. Among the realm of mathematics, there's one particular field described by the Nobel-winning physicist Richard Feynman as the language of God, calculus. Scary, huh? Well, it's basically just a description of changes in our ever-changing universe. Normally, when we talk about changes in stuff, we talk about the difference in the amount of stuff after the change. Well, we can also talk about how fast something changes, the rate of change, how much something changes in a period of time. To find the rate of change of the height of this bean sprout, we found out how much it has grown within the period of time. Dividing the height by the time gives you the rate of change, 1250 meters per second. Easy, right? But if you're a good observer, you'll probably notice that most things don't change at a constant rate. So the method I just mentioned doesn't really indicate the variations in the rate of change throughout the entire motion. Perhaps we can chop the motion up according to its speed, like fast period and slow period. Yeah, but it's perhaps still not precise enough. How about dividing it into smaller chunks, like tracking the change in the distance every second, millisecond, nanosecond, or even zero seconds? Wait, what? Nothing can change within zero seconds when time doesn't even pass. Well, even a powerful subject like math can't change something absurd into something sensible. What we can do is to record the change within an infinitely small period of time. Almost zero seconds, but not exactly zero. We call this small period of time delta x. As delta x decreases, you see the rate of change approaching a certain value. And from there, we can approximate the rate of change at a specific moment. This process is called differentiation. What's so amazing about calculus is that not only we can use it to find out the instantaneous rate of change, but also to do the reverse. Given how quickly something changes, we can know how much something has changed. To find out the distance traveled from the speed, we can multiply its speed and the change in time. But what if the speed is not constant? Well, we can chop its motion up into very small periods delta x and then add all the distances traveled within each small period up to get the total change in the distance throughout the entire motion. As delta x decreases, approaching zero, you can see the total change in distance approaching a certain value. This process is called integration. You might ask, why do we care about calculus apart from nailing exams? Well, many people do care. Scientists use it to describe the changes in our natural world, engineers use it to optimize their designs, and economists use it to optimize profits. Even if there isn't any point in your life that you have to apply calculus to real life problems, well, isn't the ability to see the world in another language pretty amazing? 